socks got wet. You've seen me play with fire, but now it's time to see me play with water. It's time for Sam Gets Wet and Wild. I'm kidding, don't worry. Today's video is in fact about how to make DIY fire extinguishers. Most fire extinguishers work by storing a liquid or gas at high pressure and then releasing that pressure through a valve, which will help put out the fire. That seems quite straightforward, but making pressure tight valves is actually really hard. Being the logical people that we are, let's take a look at the first fire extinguisher that I made. I'm going to start off by showing you the best part of making a fire extinguisher using water, the filling process. In case you couldn't tell, that was sarcasm. Now it's time to begin the pressurisation. The pump is connected to the valve using a special adapter. Don't forget to open the valve, Sam. Oops, too late. I think it's time we test this out. Very impressive, but let's have a look at a close up. Whilst I didn't catch it on camera, you do not want to be hit in the chest by that. That really f***ing hurts. We've seen some big boy water jets so far, but let's have a look at something smaller for putting out small fires. Here's a different setup. This is a much smaller nozzle, which restricts the flow of water. As the level of the water drops towards the exit hole, the air mixes with the water, creating this more powerful stream. At the beginning of this video, I said I was going to make a fire extinguisher, but all you've seen are water jets. So let's go outside and let's put out a real fire. You never have thought that lighting a fire could be so hard. surprisingly well. I have a confession. This project actually started off as me trying to make a flamethrower, but I realised that was so f***ing dangerous that 
it wasn't worth the risk. Anyways, see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.